four. But first, we're asking should all Irish primary schools, new Irish primary schools, developed in the future, be Gale schools? It's the call from one man, Tom O'Hanlon, who wants us to follow Estonia's lead because there they've recently announced a new law to ensure that over the next 10 years, all primary schools that still teach primarily through Russian will have to switch to Estonian. So would something like that work here or is it an absolutely outrageous idea? Probably in the next couple of years, as the campaign continues to grow, it's something that's happened organically within the Irish people. It hasn't really been government-led. It hasn't really been assisted from uh, any major org- organisations as such. This is something that is happening at a community level, at a grassroots level, where you are seeing huge demand now for Irish medium education. You mentioned the Estonia case study mm. and also Wales has done a similar... Well, it is. I think it is. I think it is interesting uh, because obviously there they they passed the bill uh, in December of of last year, uh, which they basically want to make schools instruct in Estonian instead of Russian, and that has been phased in now in the next couple of years. Wales have done something similar, as far as my knowledge goes. They now will will no longer build English medium only uh, primary schools. They want to have uh, Welsh speaking Welsh speaking primary schools, and. It's an interesting debate. It's something that really the Irish government has been preparing for uh, at some point or another because we know already the demands for going into the teaching profession at primary level uh, require quite a high standard in the Irish language to get into the teaching colleges and then to obviously teach the language as, as a core curriculum subject in, in the primary sector. So I, I, I believe that um, there, there is certainly merit to the idea. Okay, but, um, but they're teaching the language, Chris, rather than actually teaching other subjects through Irish at the moment. Like, would we even have the, would we have the desire from, um, you know, want to be primary school teachers to even do this? Would we, would we even be able to staff something like this? Well, it's, it's, again, it's something that you have to prepare for. We're not talking about doing this overnight. And, you know, most importantly, we're not talking about displacing any uh, teachers that are in English medium schools at the moment. This is something you start at the at the bottom up. You don't go from the top. So you're talking from the nursery level and obviously the early years uh, at primary at primary level, where at that at that stage, most teachers I would imagine already have the foundations of the language, the basic foundation of the language, to be able to teach it effectively uh, at that level. So I've talked already about the growing demand mm-hmm. for Irish medium education. This is just going to be something that is is in the Irish psyche at the, uh, and will be more and more as the language grows. So we have to prepare for it. Richard, do you think it's a good idea? Should all new primary schools in the future be Gale schools? No, I, I don't think that. that's something that we'd really uh, want to encourage if we're, if we're looking forward to a future of uh, uh, Ireland. I, I, firstly, being English speaking, I understand, of course, that I've grown up in privilege of having a language that is widely spoken, but it's been useful to me. I've worked in Canada, America, Britain, Ireland, and I've always been able to, to make a, a living. Um, just like my parents did when they left Ireland to go and work in England, they, they spoke English and therefore could get jobs. Look at, looking at the kind of history of the language, I, I get it. I love language. My daughter speaks it. She speaks it beautifully. But when I'm looking at what I want her to become in the future, I'm, I'm looking at her speaking, you know, doing stem cell subjects and technology subjects and, and uh, you know, learning... Spanish or you know, English at a high level, learning languages, German, that will allow her to go out and thrive. I think that the idea of teaching a language that is that is in, in you know, such a minority language now is kind of hanging on to the past when we can spend time looking at the future. I would completely disagree with Richard. I um, studied stem cells and stem subjects through Irish. Um, I uh, studied French and Spanish through Irish. I don't think that I've ever been held back by having received that education through Irish medium. And also, you're looking at kids starting in the Guelph School at about five. They're already most most children already who are in Guelph School and that do not enter fluent in Irish. They come from English speaking households and they're brought into the Irish language through immersive education. There's no risk of a child coming home from school and the parents not being able to understand the child. That's completely unrealistic. Like, I remember doing Honours Irish for the junior cert and my teacher afterwards actually advised me to drop down 
to pass Irish because I was going to was going to consume too much of my time. Like might have been fit for it, but there was always probably a question mark over how well I would do and and to you know just allow and free up more time for other subjects. The teacher's advice was drop down, just do do the pass. I fly through the pass, um, yeah. pass class, and and that's what I did. Mm-hmm. But like I just wonder thinking back if. If that was the advice from the teacher at the time. I wonder would I, like, you know, I'm sure a lot of parents listening and I, and I say this and tell the story because of the, some of the text coming in. But like, I imagine parents would have concerns about then their kids' ability to focus and spend time on other subjects if they're doing it through Irish. If, if they don't pick it up as well as others in the class or as quickly. I don't think there's a detrimental impact to Irish medium education. I think the fa- facts would suggest otherwise that actually children have better cognitive uh, benefits coming out of that system. But I would just say that, you know, probably from an English medium perspective, the teaching of Irish has been reduced by the Minister of Education. And this is something that's going to lower the standard, which will create problems in the post-primary sector. And I would just like to acknowledge uh, Richard's contribution there that other languages like like German and Spanish, yes, are, are more widely spoken in those particular countries. They also speak English. And I think across Europe, I don't think we can say that uh, being bilingual or trilingual has any detrimental impact whatsoever. In fact, if you go, come through a bilingual education system, it would make learning other languages a lot easier. You you run a, um, a cafe as, as well, Ascale. Is that right, Hazel? Yeah, it's all part of the campaign too. We were trying to get a Guild School going in the area. We're the only part in Dublin, the only area left without a Guild School in Dublin 10 and pushing into Dublin 12. Um, and it's been very difficult. So we were trying to think outside the box. So initially I opened up an Irish language preschool, which is in Enra. But then there was a space for what can you do outside of the educational system. So there was an opportunity to open up the cafe and that's what we've done in a bilingual format. And like they, like we have the Irish language group that meet there on a Tuesday um, or menu is mixed a bit and you can come in and speak Irish if you want to. So trying to do it from a natural approach and giving people the confidence to do it. Um, uh, and some other stuff that we've done listening to the conversation and what was going on there is because we have a vacancy in No Guild School, we've written to some of the other uh, primary schools in the area and asked if they'd be interested in introducing a Shrek Oilge along with the English language uh, primary school to then see if that would be something that we can try and navigate into moving towards the end goal of having a Guild School like Sing Street has done as well. So okay. it's it's kind of difficult, I suppose, getting people who I was educated in a Guild School and so are my kids at the moment. I don't believe in certain physics and everything through Irish. So right. it wasn't too difficult when you're immersed in it. This listener says, regarding the Irish language, I'm currently a sixth year leaving cert student. I've been in a Gale School since I was four. The Irish language is important for our culture. And the fact that one of your guests is trying to say that because the language isn't spoken widely, it's not important. I think it's crazy. This texter says, my son gets 20 out of 20 most weeks in his Irish spelling tests, but he hasn't a clue of actually what the words even mean. Uh, another listener, my kids are fluent in French because of the Gale School that they went to. Um, the argument of learning another language such as German doesn't stand up as it would not be, you know, immersed in that language. My children didn't learn Irish in that way and I didn't learn English. Having that second language language has so many advantages. My eldest is already top uh, of his French classes, this listener. This other texter though, please give me a break. Would these people please get a life teaching a language to a minority uh, to a tiny minority that speak it currently. It has zero relevance in the modern world. Make it non-compulsory in schools, please, and give our children some modern languages other uh, that other countries are currently speaking.